X's and O's with Leroy Butler. Now, here's Tom Silverstein. Hi everyone, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler and we are gonna get right at it. We got two plays from the Packers, Saints, 38-3 yeah. loss. And uh, both of these are gonna be defensive plays, not surprisingly. Yeah, right. Um, there's a lot of things we could break down offensively, but we thought we'd take a look at a couple of plays where there was just confusion, a lot of confusion. miscommunication. Yes. And th these are things that we thought we're no longer going to be here. Isn't that kind of been a, the case over exactly. the years in the secondary? So why don't you tell us what we got here? It's, it's third and seven. Yeah. So the Packers come in with a nickel defense with Chan and Sullivan. And then what are the right. Saints doing They here? basically got a four wide receiver set, but actually that's the way it looks, but they got a tight end and three wide receivers. And they're just looking at matchups because they actually have a pistol formation. If you look at Kamari, he's standing right behind Jameis Winston, so they can still run the ball out of mm -hmm. this. So that's what they're thinking. Right here, they just want to try to get the illusion of a, like a swing out pass to him. And they run that sometimes, but what they really try to do is get a matchup to wonder, they want to get the, the Camaro one on one with your linebacker. And then everything else is just kind of opening up the middle. So they run these kind of what we call these snake routes where guys will, you know, kind of finish on the other side. He will come in here, he'll come in here, and the same thing on that side, and then he looks for the best matchup. Let's and if he look. holds on to the ball, yeah. sometimes you could break your route off. Let's look um, just at the first formation. Yeah, there's uh, the formation. So we can see it, and, and there you see how they're set up. Now we'll break back here and kind of talk about what happened, which is yep. that uh, no one was open initially. I'll, I'll kind of take care of this yep. side and you can do that side. Yep. So this guy comes at Kevin King and he's, he's got pretty good coverage there. Um, this guy comes out here and Adrian Amos has him. Yep. Now, what's going on over it's here just, it's, particularly it's, with Kamara? It's just kind of the same thing though. It's like one of these deals here and uh, Barnes come gets him, but this is what got, gets kind of confusing to the Packers because this guy comes up and runs here and Jaria takes him. Now, Aidy is just trying to work the back end here. Sullivan has him to a point. And at some point, and we'll see this on the tape, he just tells Savage, hey, this guy's coming, okay? So you got to stay back here. See, right now, Sullivan, I mean, um, Savage has nothing, nobody to cover. No one in his quarter. So he's basically a free guy, but you don't vacate that for anything. Right. And the problem is, is when the quarterback holds the ball, now everybody kind of scrambles and like, what am I going to do here? Yeah, and he, you know, you see these guys come up, and what yes. happens is he doesn't have anybody, so he exactly. steps up to here. Yes. Now that's when, you know, these guys have to make a decision. You know, he's yeah, out he, of the picture. He's still here. He's still here. Right. Now, Campbell, he can be, the, and I remember he already scrambled early for a couple of times, so he can step up and stop Winston short. Mm -hmm. You can't go, run past a guy to get to that level. So if you're a savage, just stay there, and then you'll get an opportunity. But what happens is this guy works the back edge, and he loses focus on him. Let's um, look at the photo of um, Winston stepping up. And there you see... Yes, yeah, so he steps up, and then you see Campbell's going at him. And right behind Campbell, you'll see uh, Savage starting to break. But the receiver is standing right behind him. Yeah, everybody is covered. You can see Kamara um, Barnes did a nice job getting over there. Jair Alexander's got his guy. Yep. Amos has got his guy. You can't see King, but he's got his guy. Now let's go to the next one, and we'll get a, a look at... You see, there it is right there. He's telling... San Sullivan said, hey, this guy's coming. And uh, Savage, at this point, he's flat-footed. Now, through his peripheral, he should see that guy breaking. Okay. And, but he's looking at the quarterback. Right. See, when you look at the quarterback, that, it kind of freezes you. You're thinking, I don't really see this guy anymore because you're thinking, this guy's been scrambling, I'm going to step up. But you see Campbell in front of you. Let him, nobody in the secondary should ever run up to get the quarterback unless he run it down in the secondary. Okay. If he's behind the line of scrimmage, you never come up. You just don't do that. And that's what I was saying earlier about the aggressiveness of Savage. This is what they like and something they don't like. But yeah. other teams know this, 
So they're going to target him every time for something aggressive. Okay. So what happens, you can show this yep. up here. This guy just, he come, just keeps coming. He just keeps coming over here. And you only got to come up a few steps. And Winston throws it to him. It's a yeah, touchdown. Hits him. Yeah. And, and, you know, he starts to recover, but it's way yeah. too late. It's too late. Yeah, he's running into another guy's zone, and you just... Wide open. And, you know, this was... The game was still in question here. Yeah. Let's go like back and see the final um, photo. There you see him stepping up. You know, the rush has to get to him, but there it is. But you see where he's catching the ball, and you see where Savage is. Yeah. He needs to be back there and make a play on that ball. Yep. And that's communication and understanding the situation. You Listen, you got to move him up here, and you put 31 back here. You got to do that. You, I've been saying it the whole offseason. Get him closer up here so you don't have to think about looking at guy. He can be up here, be aggressive, cover guys. You can bring him off the corners. A lot sure. of things you can do. I think he's wasted back there because yeah. this is what happens. You're aggressive and you're not really you, – you want to stop a guy and you don't know what to do. You, kinda, you can't be aggressive because you're thinking you're right. a lot. I think yeah. you're right. Eventually they're going to have to put him in that They're going to have to. Yeah. And, and let him – He'll do a lot of damage up there. Yeah. Back here, you know, you, you get this kind of stuff because he's kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. Do I come up or do I stay back? Nick, they know in the NFL, you know that's how it's a touchdown. Yep, yep. Okay, yeah. we're going to look at, if you can handle it, we're going to look at one more <laughs> blunder in the, <laughs> in the end zone. They can handle it. So, It'll get uh, better. Let's take a look at that one. All right, so this other play we're going to look at is fourth and goal at the one-yard line. It's a big play. Second quarter, it's a big yeah, play. 114 to go uh, in the half. And, you know, this is the difference between a field goal and a um, touchdown is huge here. Yes. And Sean yes. Payton decides to go for it. Yes. I want to make a point real quick. Yes. I think instead of Kiki, who's your pass rush guy, I would have put Slayton in there, or even Heflin. Some, you need some big guys down there because this guy is actually eligible. Yeah. And he can slam in there and release, but you need a guy on that that's got the pin. I'm not just saying Kiki can do it, but you got to have some bigger guys down there on the goal. This is goal line. Yeah. And I'll be very honest with you. When Fritz Shermer first came in, this is the first play he drew up on offense. This same play. He, and I said, why is he telling us? He said, because everybody runs this play. Mm. And I said, well, why? I said, isn't that kind of arrogant for offense to run a play that you kind of know? Mm -hmm. He said, that's what coaching is all about. They don't change a lot. Mm. They flip-flop stuff, but they don't change a lot. Okay. And that's why this play is so frustrating. Okay, so this guy's going to go in motion and not really play a big part. Kevin King's going to come over and cover him. Mm. It does cause exactly. everybody to shift, so you that's can the explain problem. that. See, that's the problem. When this guy goes in motion, everybody's starting to move over, okay? And if you look at he's the only guy that's off the ball, really. There's no receivers in here. Mm -hmm. if was, there used to be Jerry Rice down in three-point stand. He'd take yeah. off. This is uh, extra yeah. lineman eligible. Right, so he don't – so it's okay. So when he moves, you should stay there. If anybody should move over, maybe you go from this A gap to this A gap. But this would be his gap. So when he moves over, that's what they want you to do. The office wants you to move over because they need you to create space to this side of the field. Mm. And that's, again, it's, the, it's a basic route. And what happens is once he goes in motion, you shift over, here comes the action this way. And so you're thinking, oh, okay, it's a run back side. And, you know, the middle linebacker, you're going to lose him. He's gone. Mm -hmm. So there's no help in there if it's pass. Because he doesn't know if it's a run or a pass. So he just is going to attack the line of scrimmage. And so it basically comes that Jair Alexander is standing. The first guy in the flat, he'll take that guy, which is the fullback. Now the stress is on the safety, mm -hmm. which is Amos. Okay, let's take a look at it at the first couple photos. Yeah. And first we see that guy in motion, and you see everybody. You see Campbell pointing to mm -hmm. Savage. Um, let's go to the second one, and you start to see everybody moving. And now you see um, Amos gesturing to uh, Campbell, and Campbell gesturing to 26. Not see, the sure. spacing is not good there. They shouldn't be too close where they could touch each other. Yeah. 
So I would have rather coaching points, Amos, stay a little bit behind Lowry. You really don't need to go over there. Just they, they got enough guys on that side of the ball. Okay. Stay back side because something is up here. Because you think about it, the other receivers, the tight end who's down, that can hurt you. And the other, other pass catching guy on that side is coming as the fullback or right. eventually the tailback. Right. Okay. Uh, come back. Let's come back to here. Now, our guy, we should have put him in red. We're getting. Uh, yeah, you're right. We should have uh, put him in red. Yeah. We're getting sloppy yeah. early on. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. okay. So he's the guy. Blame it on COVID. <laughs> <laughs> he's the guy we got to keep an eye on. Yes. And that's the, that's the key to it. That's why, Tom, I was saying, when they run this motion here, they want you to do exactly what the Packers did. Now you got, you know, I got less guys over here focusing in on this. And now all you want, because most of the time when he reverse out the quarterback, he'll hit this guy because they want Jair to get nosy and step in there. Right. And this guy's wide open for a touchdown. But Jair said, oh, I recognize the route. You know, it's easy for me. I'm here. The stress is going to be on Amos. But to be honest with you, this is the frustrating part. Amos takes off at first to try to cover the guy in the back. Yeah. And leave this guy because he was going to block Gary regardless, slam here or slam there to make you lose him. And then he has an option around seven or eight. It's up to him. If you look on the picture, you'll see them kind of bunch together yeah let's take and that a look gives at the it. leverage to the tight end see look at that you see his head is on the outside of the guy he's going to cover the guy in the flat and you even pointed out Jair Alexander over pursues here thinking it's a run but he yes. can recover but against he recovered, the fullback yeah he recovered perfect as a fullback he can get that guy in the flat but Amos has that guy right there which makes me wonder why is he so anxious to get over to Alexander's guy. He's got the tight end right. right there. Unless he thought it was a run, he was trying to go and make a tackle, but that's possible. That action isn't for him. That action is for uh Campbell. Right. So and that's the thing about the safety, you really is what it is. You're a safety like a safety valve. And that's what I'm sure the coaches have they I'm no I know for a fact the coaches have walked through this play. Sure. But, again, when the motion goes, the motion is just the illusion for you to move over. And the thing is, so Rashawn Gary doesn't get blocked, and he comes right barreling in on, yep. um, on Winston, and he should have a sack. And if nobody, if, if he's at least covered a little bit, yeah. he gets the sack, or Winston throws an interception. Because in he's going to force it in. It's, it's fourth, fourth down. down. Right, right. Now. right. But he looks, and he's got... Gary all draped over him, and here's this guy standing wide open. We can take a look at it yeah, again. If here. we must. There he is. See, the guy's in the back of the, the end zone. This is the second time somebody catches a ball in either behind or next to. Uh, oh, thanks a lot, Bill. That's the shot we want. Yeah. See, you want that guy, you want to be inside and you should be going up through that. That should be you intercepting the ball. So, I mean, it's a learning. Um, well, for a veteran, you're really not learning everything. Yeah. You kind of know stuff. If this was a young safety, okay, I get it. But Amos, he got to fix this. Because what, what Detroit's going to do, the same action, but the eligible guy, he's going to slam down and he's going to release. And if you're not you know, on your P's and Q's, the guy's going to be wide open. Yeah. Or they'll tell this guy, which will be T.J. Hawkinson, hey, you know what? We think you can outrun Amos, so we want you to run a corner route. Right there. Now Alexander will be sitting right here. If he goes back here, they'll throw it to this guy, which yeah. will be Jamal Williams. But he has to cover Jamal. That gives more space. And they'll throw it to the pylon. Is right there. And you have to defend that. So, so you know, what our lesson here was, you know, this was a mistake. He made a mistake. He made a mistake. He made, these are not rookies. No, these are no. These are the guys that played in two championship games. So they got some stuff to work on. And this is a basic route. There's no trickery here. This is a basic route. There's no, there's no tricks to it. So I know the coaches are frustrated because they've gone through this play. This is a goal line play. And this is, again, fourth down, 10 to nothing. You stop them, and then maybe you can get the momentum back. Yeah. So. Okay. But I want to thank uh, Leap Vodka. Go to leapspirits.com. Again, pick and save, pick and save, store your neighborhood grocery.
for supporting uh, Lee Vodka. Yeah, and um, thanks to you and yeah. thanks to Bill. And we will be back next week after the Lions game. Don't forget Hope to catch better. us then. See you then.